A Wendy's workers behind bars for allegedly stealing money from a customer's debit card. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones spoke with one victim. He joins us down in the studio and Jeremy, police believe there could be several victims. Yeah, Peter Roseanne, I talked to Sonia Swiger who realized her $5 biggie bag cost her 70 bucks. The convenience of a drive through is no longer a convenience. Sonia Swiger was out running errands and wanted to grab lunch at the Wendy's on Theodore Dawes Road last Thursday. She paid for a $5 biggie bag, but then noticed a charge for more than $5 on her card this weekend when she received her bank statement. You don't get that, that much bacon on them sandwiches to justify that transaction. Right. She began her research, so she pulled out her Wendy's receipt and noticed that the time stamp for her Wendy's order and the time on the listed transaction matched. So she went to the Wendy's to ask them what happened. Mobile police then arrested Latoya Whitfield on Sunday and charged her with fraudulent use of a credit card. Police said Whitfield would use the Square app to process the transaction. And they believe there are several possible victims involved in this case. For you to just take people's money like that when we're all struggling, it's, it's, it's disgusting, you know, because it, we're all struggling. Unfortunately for Swagger, she hasn't received her $70 yet, but hopes this makes people think twice before using someone else's card. So I just really hope this is a life lesson. Mobile police say if you recently went to the Wendy's location at the Pilot gas station on Theodore Dawes Road and believe you may be affected, to give them a call. Reporting in the studio tonight, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.